very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation for the cable of the debt His Majesty received from the first deputy president of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for congratulating His Majesty on the occasion of Bahrain winning a gold and a silver medal in the Olympic Games held in Brazil. His Majesty the King lauded the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which led to such achievement for Bahrain during such international sports events. His Majesty he praised the good administration and follow-up of His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad. His Majesty the King also thanked the Bahraini sports women Ruth Jabet for winning the gold medal and also Onis Kirwa for winning the gold medal and also Ali Khamis for reaching the final in the 400-meter men race. His Majesty congratulated all the Bahrain sports personnel participating in the Olympic Games held in Rio. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qutabiya Palace today a number of representatives and Shura Council members and senior state officials. His Royal Highness highlighted the awareness of the people of Bahrain in dealing with the divisive conspiracies, commending their honourable stances in defending their homeland. He called for greater national unity to protect the kingdom and its people from all dangers and threats. He noted Bahrain's political and economic achievements, highlighting the performance of the Shura representative and municipal councils in the field of monitoring legislation and services. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's commitment to enhancing cooperation with the Parliament. He stressed the pivotal role of the Bahraini workforce in the national process, affirming the importance of human resources in the development of civilizations. His Royal Highness confirmed the government's keenness to provide a suitable environment for Bahraini staff to flourish. He reaffirmed that the satisfaction of the people is the government's ambition and is the goal of its strategies and projects. He said he hoped to increase field visits to projects across Bahrain to ensure the provision of services in all of the country's cities and villages in order to ensure the best quality services for the people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired at Gdabia Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. His Royal Highness directed that at least public schools should consist of high quality buildings and facilities in accordance with the government's approved specifications for educational facilities. He briefed the cabinet on his visit to Senabis village and his inspection of its facilities. His Royal Highness delegated the Ministry of Education to study the capacity of primary schools in Galali in order to provide current and future needs for its residents. His Royal Highness also delegated the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure to coordinate with other ministries and government bodies to follow up on plans for developing the area between the Sheikh Isa and Sheikh Hamad Causeways and directed the same Ministerial Committee to come up with a name recommendations for the area. The Cabinet then looked into the preparations for the Hajj to ensure the best services for Bahraini pilgrims. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments briefed the cabinet on the procedures and preparations taken while the health minister outlined the necessary preventive measures on the occasion of International Youth Day as Royal Highness hailed the role of Bahrain's youth in achieving sustainable development goals, expressing confidence in their abilities and contributions in various fields. He affirmed the government's keenness to provide their needs and enhance their capabilities. His Royal Highness then praised the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for charity works and youth affairs. Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in nurturing and motivating Bahraini youngsters. His Royal Highness also hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Youth and Sports in implementing the government strategy for enhancing the youth sector. His Royal Highness then stressed the importance of individual privacy and of establishing the necessary measurements to prevent breaches. The Cabinet approved implementation of applying global standards for automatic exchange of tax effective of 2018. The Cabinet approved a total of 11 agreements and MOUs, including five agreements and MOUs with Turkey in the fields of education, commerce and sports, and another three MOUs with Pakistan on agriculture, marine resources and sports. The Cabinet also signed two agreements with Russia in the fields of economy, sciences and information exchange security. The Cabinet approved a draft law on protecting GCC consumers and directed the concerned bodies to take the necessary legal measures. The Cabinet approved an MOU to bolster friendship ties between Manama to Bahrain and Shenzhen, China. The Cabinet affirmed the government's keenness to maintain the process of developing the country and enhancing its economy. This came after the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning presented a report on tenders during the second quarter of 2016. 26 tenders were put forward worth around 15 million Bahraini dinars and 16 tenders were approved worth around 23.5 million Bahraini dinars. The cabinet approved a number of measures taken to support clearing agencies. The cabinet referred two draft laws to the representatives council regarding the council's bylaws and another on amending laws of Bahrain Central Bank. The cabinet then discussed a number of proposals from the representatives council. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has dedicated the Bahrain Endurance Team the 13th unprecedented victory in the Ironman 70.3 European Championship in Wiesbaden, Germany, to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Over 2,000 participants from around the world took part in the event, including 11 members of the Bahrain Endurance Team, 13 members. Leading the team to victory was His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who attributed the achievement to the huge support extended by His Majesty the King to the youth and sports in the Kingdom of Bahrain, and affirmed that dedicating this victory to His Majesty was a token of appreciation for backing the sport and the youth. He also said that this achievement would motivate all athletes in Bahrain to give their all and lift the kingdom's flag high in all events. He explained that the success in Germany followed intensive preparation 
suggestions by the team in order to enhance the kingdom's position internationally. His Highness expressed appreciation to his teammates for their efforts throughout the event. The competition began with a 1.9 km swim, a 90 km cycling phase and ended with a 21 km running race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser completed the race in 5 hours, 11 minutes and 59 seconds. It's worth noting that this is the team's second participation in Germany's Ironman competition, the first being in Berlin 2014. A celebration was held to honor the winners of Ironman 70.3, which was attended by the Bahrain team led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness stressed that this achievement was a source of pride for Bahrain's sports sector and adds to the series of achievements made by Bahrain in various fields. His Highness affirmed that this success had been achieved thanks to the unwavering support of His Majesty the King. He added that this accomplishment was proof of the strenuous efforts and determination of the Bahraini team to have a positive presence in various championships. His Highness then praised the efforts of the team members hailing their high spirits. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the Bahrain Endurance 13 team's unprecedented triumph in the team category of Ironman 70.3 West Bas in Germany. The Bahrain team stormed to victory in the event, which was held in the Southwestern Germany to win a distinctive achievement. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the team's performance during the event, affirming that the support of the wise leadership to the sports and youth movements in the Kingdom of Bahrain had been a major contributor enabling Bahrain's athletes to prosper at different platforms across the world. He said that Bahrain's honorable results in this championship reflected the extraordinary efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to in translating the vision and directions of the wise leadership by designing an implementing development programs and plans in order to continue constructing and developing the youth and sports sector. Praising the team's performance under the guidance of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad in Ironman 70.3, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad said that it reflected the team's strenuous preparations for the event. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, offered his deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain winning its first gold medal through runner Ruth Jabet. She finished first in the women's 3,000 meter steeple chase with a recorded time of 8 minutes, 59 seconds, and 70 milliseconds. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also extended his congratulations 
congratulations to the wise leadership of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed that the historic achievement is due to support to the youth and sports sectors from the wise leadership, which is reflected in the Bahraini sports field through many accomplishments and honorable results in world tournaments and gatherings. His Highness added that the wise government played a major role in implementing the visions of the king through the implementation of many development programs aimed to support the sports infrastructure for various sports and help to create a suitable environment for athletes, which in turn help to prepare them to great achievements in different sports participations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa highlighted the tireless efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which have had a positive impact on athletes, especially in athletic games, as this sport has a strong presence in various participations in many accomplishments, most notably in today's achievements at the Rio Olympics. His Highness Sheikh Khalid voiced a pride with this unprecedented results achieved by the Bahraini athletes games team in Rio Olympics through Ruth Jebet winning the gold medal. This result, he added, carves the name of the kingdom in gold in the Olympics historical record as the first gold medal and the first Olympics that witnesses the kingdom's winning two medals. This, he said, will provide a boost to accomplish more honorable results which help to put Bahrain the international sports map. His Highness had praised the high level of performance route delivered during the race, which confirms her high-level capabilities that culminated with her obtaining the gold medal. His Highness also praised the efforts of the technical and administrative staff that helped her reach this level, praising the efforts of the Bahraini Olympic Committee and the Bahrain Athletics Association, who helped create a suitable environment for the athletes to participate and raise the name of the kingdom in this international sports arena. His Highness also wished luck to all of the participating athletes, hoping that they raise the name of the kingdom in the upcoming competitions. Thank you. 